start okay okay so now we are going to discuss about the event handling so how to write the event handle what is the event handling whenever we are clicking something handling is that event is nothing but a event handling there are so many events available in the html right uh, mouse event uh, keyboard event uh, uh, and uh, there are the uh, click event all events are there okay we are going to write one by one what are the useful for our project okay so let us see so first now let us generate one new component so as part of the project what i want to do i want to create a some login page something like this for every application we should have a login page right so we'll write a email and password and login button for now i'll write a button and whenever i'm clicking button i want to write a some alert you are successfully logged in and later we'll do the validation let us write one simple component uh, using the functional way so here i can write a uh, components right click create new folder i will say login so inside the login i will create a file login.js okay so function function name login open bracket and close bracket okay so i want to export it here itself export default something so now i want to return jsx code so inside the jsx code i want to write one simple div okay okay so here I want to write a form here, login form. I want to write it, H1. I want to write like a, first for now I will write a button. How to write a button, button something, okay, login. So this is fine. So if I want to show output, so what is the thing I should do it? First I should import into the app.js. Let us go and import it here. Inside the here, I will say, I will say, what is my component name? Login, control space, okay login okay see automatically it is showing hint it is available here and just import it here and close it don't write this ending bracket so you are going to see some problems don't write like this so always end with the same here now we are saved our file let's see some output so we have this button right i want to write a nice looking button how to write a nice looking button class is equal to btn we know that right let's go to login component and suppose here I want to write like a class name is equal to double uh, hyphen hundred. I want to use a h hyphen hundred. So I will say h hyphen fifty double hyphen hundred per width. H hyphen fifty means a uh, height is equal to fifty percentage. Okay. For header I want to apply some color. Class name is equal to uh, text hyphen primary blue color okay so here button i want to see like class name is equal to btn btn iphone primary file save all so here we we got a button so login is there button is there suppose we want some space in the bottom then you can give like a mb4 something okay and you want to write a border simple border you are going to write like a border and you want to add any padding p iphone 4 something okay suppose login is there this login component that is okay now i want to click event whenever i want to click i want to say hello that's all simple so how can we write an event uh, using our html knowledge please use our html knowledge i will say uh, on click is equal to so what we'll write it uh, we'll write it like a handle click something like this we'll write it right so we will write it and where we should write this function so you know it write any script tag directly you can write like a here function handle click and console.log and or you can write a alert so i am going to write a alert we know need to open something okay handle click so file save all so our expectation is whenever we are clicking it we want to see some output so because this is the same way we are writing in the code so let's click here so what is the property first what is the error in the right side you are seeing it uh, okay you are seeing some error in the console that is okay let us try to do this one is there an output is coming no output okay so so let us explain here if you are writing something like this whatever the code we are writing here this is a normal html code okay this is a normal html code and normal html events but react is maintaining one event called synthetic events what is the name of synthetic event? Synthetic means normally someone is new generated. That is the meaning. Synthetic means it is not a natural one. 
some you sometimes you will say synthetic colors right uh, they have added synthetic colors in the some food items so that means some artificial uh, colors but natural event means natural color so here the synthetic uh, events are not a normal events not normal html events okay so why, why they have done with this approach is uh, they want to maintain the same events in all the browser if you go to any browser they want to maintain same event it should work in the same way to solve this purpose what they have done is they have come up with their own concept called synthetic events that is simple only okay so here instead of writing this on click something like this and if you go and read this error here what they are saying instead of writing like this do you mean on click what is the difference between here and here only c is capital okay they are following the approaches don't write like normal one here you need to write like a on click so here whenever you are writing in the react you should write like a on and the whatever the next event is there that should write in a capital because this is not a normal html event this is a synthetic event okay so inside the synthetic event there will be like normal event only to support all the browsers they are writing a synthetic events okay now uh, that is okay but right side i am writing like this right whenever you are going to write like this reload the file okay ah see here and what is the error i'm getting right side again again what is the error i'm saying so on click is equal to listener to be a function instead of a string type it is saying my listener should not be a string that means whenever you are writing this functions inside like this event handling inside the react we should not write like this so let us go and write a learn a first one so first we should write a event name in a camel case so what is my event name on click so we have written a camel case okay that's fine second thing whenever for each event we should tell what is the code we should write inside the jsx not in the double quotes or a single code now let's go here and go and remove this uh, here and what is the thing we should write it a uh, double quotes okay so inside the double quote which is what is the method i want to call it a uh, handle click copy the same name and paste it that's all okay and let me file save all and reload the page again this time no error let me click uh, login login button is click okay it is working right uh, very simple you write your name whatever the event name you want to write it and right side you write a jsx syntax inside the jsx syntax uh, you write what is my method name uh, handle click but sometimes what you guys will do mistake is whenever you are writing like this after this method name you are going to put a brackets if you are going to put a brackets what javascript will do okay i want to call this method by default itself not like on click you are writing any jsx code some method automatically it will be executed so whenever you are saving this code and if you go to this page itself by default without clicking itself on the load itself that method will be called that is the reason in the jsx code please do not write this brackets brackets whenever you are calling okay so simply write like this that is the code suppose sometimes you want to call it uh, that is a mandatory i want to call like this but i don't want to execute in the starting that is how we want to do it right so to solve this problem you know yes six functions right uh, simple empty bracket and we can write a array symbol and we can write a curly braces so we here instead of writing this code i can go for a es6 code so what is the es6 code empty bracket okay and a arrow symbol okay and a curly braces correct right here i can write like a you can direct write any statement alert you can write alert or you can call a, what is the code i want to write it a handle click now here think like this is a javascript code inside you should write a brackets also don't write if you are writing like this uh, this is not a correct syntax okay so inside the jsx if you want to write a uh, this es6 symbol now this you can write like this okay let me save it here and reload it to the page okay so now this time by default not executing that is okay and second whenever i am clicking this is perfectly fine okay sometimes we are going to do like this okay sometimes we are going to do like this when we are going to do like this let me tell you one give you example suppose i want to give what is the event detail i want to pass in okay the scenario when i have to go for a es6 function suppose here i want to take a event what is the details i want to take it a event suppose here plus i want to write like a event dot target let us see 
So whenever you are going to re reload this page and define, uh, it is saying uh, automatically this whatever the event name it is getting uh, here we are getting the value some value we are getting it okay suppose you, you want to pass like a one two three four something like this this button is a login button i want to tell this is a login button and here if i am writing simply like this i cannot pass any values to here right so in such cases i will say instead of this one i'll take a name example and i will remove this i'll write a name suppose if i am writing like this this name is nothing but an object it will print it will think like object object, but I want to pass it manually. So here, first you write a ES6 function. How to write a ES6 function? Empty bracket, arrow symbol, curly braces. Inside the curly brace, what is the function I want to call it? Handle click. What is the name I want to pass it? Hello something. Okay, here I can pass a hello, and this value automatically it will go here. But if you are directly writing like this, you cannot pass this hello. That is the reason whenever you want to pass any value to your function, then we will write a ES6 function and you will write like this. But you don't want to pass any value. Simply write that function name. That, that is more than sufficient. Okay. Let us go with the default way and let us, uh, we'll do this approach later. So what is my function name? Handle click. So here also I don't want any name and here also we don't want any name. Something file save all. Let us reload it. So simple as simple. Correct right. Okay. So what is the event bubbling? So whenever we are clicking this propagation, it will go to the parent. It will go to the parent. So if you want to stop any propagation, we can say event data stop propagation or event data prevent default. Something like this, we can do this one. So like this, we can do it. So simple, right? So first step, we are going to, this is a normal HTML, something like, okay? This is a normal HTML code. We should not write like this. What is the for? We should write it on click. This is a HTML code. This is a React code. This is the difference between HTML and something like this. Okay. Okay. So suppose let us go for a click event. So something we have done a click event. This is fine. So this is nothing but a event argument. Suppose you want to pass any value, something like this. Already we shown on demo, right? I want to pass one name. Then I can write a ES6 function. Inside the ES6 function, I can call it. So whenever you have only one line inside the ES6 function, uh, then what? Then what is the, the like? Let me write it. So uh, curly braces. Uh, after that, handle click, and you can write like this. Okay. But here, whenever I am writing only one line, the curly braces are required or optional. Optional. That is the reason I will remove these curly braces also. Okay. So this meaning is I am writing a uh, empty argument and I'm writing a arrow symbol. So why I'm not writing curly braces because I'm going to write only one line. That is the reason I'm not writing open and close bracket. But if you're writing also, that is okay. No problem. Without writing also, that is okay. Okay. So that is the reason. If you want to pass any argument here, you can pass like a name and there you can take that variable as a name property. That is okay. So like this, you can pass the values also. If you want to pass any arguments, uh, you can pass like this. Please remember this way. We are going to the, use this way extensively in all the next, whatever the next we are going to discuss, we are going to use this way. That is very, very important. 